Hey, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite albums and today I'm back and I'm going to be doing another album review on the latest Boldy James and the Alchemist album, Bo Jackson. So Detroit rapper Boldy James and legendary hip hop producer The Alchemist has returned once again for their third collaboration project, Bo Jackson. Now, I have not talked a lot about Boldy James on this channel. Last year, he actually released four albums. One with The Alchemist called The Price of Tea in China, which has a really cool album cover. Then with jazz musician Sterling Tolls, we have the album Manger on McNichols, which I have reviewed and enjoyed. I gave it an 8 out of 10. I like it a lot. And then afterwards, he had a collaboration album with Jay Versace and then another one with Real Bad Man. Altogether, four albums is released last year by Boldy James. That is uh, incredible productivity. And then we have producer The Alchemist, who is slowly becoming one of my favorite hip hop producers of all times, up there with Madlib and DJ Premier and Q Tip. And essentially, last year, The Alchemist collaborated with Freddie Gibbs with Alfredo, definitely one of my favorite rap albums of last year. It is dreamy, serene, moody and really beautiful and it perfectly matches Freddie Gibbs very stone cold but also charismatic performance and this year we have uh, The Alchemist collaborating with Joey Badass remixing a track done by Kenny Beats and Denzel Curry called Cosmic.M4A and this remix is now one of my favorite songs of the entire year. The beat is just so damn good. And then afterwards, The Alchemist collaborated with Arm & Hammer, which is a duo between Billy Woods and Elucid, and they came out with one of the most abstract, disorienting, and morbid, and ominous abstract rap albums I've heard in a long time, and it's now one of my favorite albums of the year. Originally, I gave it a light 8, but honestly, after repeated listens, I managed to enjoy Haram more and more and more, and now it's become, like, one of my favorites of the year, really. It just grows on you. Anyways, we have Boldy James and The Alchemist coming back together for the third time on Bo Jackson. What are they going to cook up? Well, Bo Jackson. Here it is. Uh, double Hockey Sticks as the album opener is fantastic. We start off with these rainy, reverby pianos, a bitter bass, and a very dusty drums. And then it transitions incredibly smoothly into one of the most hard-hitting rap beats I've heard all year. The distant, winding, rising cellos in the back and a very solid trap beat. I understand that trap beats are really overused, but when it is used with such elegance, it just sounds impeccable. And Boldy James comes off really relaxed on this album. Uh, and a lot of people coin this type of rap coke rap so it's kind of like a subgenre of gangster rap as well as abstract rap i guess but boldy really comes off relaxed and calm and collected on this track while spitting really fast flows with dense rhyme schemes and the performances and the delivery is fantastic and a lot of the tracks including the opener basically deal with you know the harsh and cruel reality of being a gangster all the way from the street side of things to the cooking side of things to being high on drugs which is essentially the next track turpentine which is basically a chipmunk soul track with very light-hearted and relaxing soul samples in the back the Alchemist really lets loose of the vocals and there are these bursts of chipmunk vocals in the back which is really nice but lyrically we have Boldy James just going off rapping about everything just everything that he thinks about while being high so uh, there is that and then we have Brick Mile to Montana featuring Benny the Butcher and for some reason every time Benny the Butcher is featured on a track the beat on the track just becomes 
this really hard hitting keyboard driven track and I like the beat. It is hard hitting, it is uh, very dirty and filthy sounding, yet at the same time very collected. Benny the Butcher of course gives a fantastic performance on this track, his feature is really solid, it goes hard. And then afterwards we have EPMD, which isn't really referencing the hip hop duo, but more so uh, everybody's plotting my demise. And uh, this is one of the tracks on the album where the instrumental is just really mild. We just have a simple piano lick that sort of loops throughout the whole track, and that's kind of it. Not really all that impressive or anything. Maybe it's just me, maybe it's just my taste, but when the beat is too simple, I just don't feel as engaged to the track as I would have. But uh, one thing that connects the entire album throughout lyrically is the constant repeated phrases like 227 and calm creatures. I don't know what those things are, but I'm sure they mean significant things to Boldy James, maybe to his street life. Steel Wool is another track of the album that has a really mild instrumental, and these very atmospheric ringing strings in the back. Uh, again, uh, cool song titles, first of all. Whenever The Alchemist is involved with a project, the song titles are just really friggin' good. God is Perfect, Frank Lucas, Robert Moses, like these names are really cool, uh, Cockroaches Don't Fly, Indian Summer, and the Steel Rule. Mm. But uh, yeah, the instrumental is really mild, not really my kind of thing, unfortunately. And then we have Photographic Memories featuring Rock Marciano as well as Earl Sweatshirt. And we have a very gorgeous soul sample in the back. It is drumless, but because of how gorgeous the sample is, it just carries the track and also the gorgeous woodwinds. Oh my gosh. Boldy James raps about who he think is the worst kind of killers. Born convicted, brave hearted, same kind of armored defenses. Anyways, it is followed with Speed Trap, which has another really dusty atmospheric beat. But what I like about this track is the very immediate drum beats and the very immediate flows that really perfectly fit with the drum beats even though instrumentally i don't think it's all that great at least performance wise it is fantastic next up we have diamond dallas and the beat is once again beautiful the performances are great we have a very eccentric vocal performances from a guest feature and the very angelic humming in the back and the pianos are amazing and also the tight rhyme schemes by boldy james afterwards we have flight risk uh, which has a slow drum beat and this tinge of sharp pianos by the end of each bar and, al and also these smoky, dusty vocal loops in the back which is very ghostly. It all sounds really nice and textured but once again the instrumental is kind of mild and it kind of stays the same throughout the whole track. It's just so primal and so skeletal. Again, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just don't know how to appreciate this kind of track but uh, when I went to Reddit, where people discuss this album, there are actually quite a few people who really enjoy this track, but I just kind of don't, so sorry about that. However, the next track, Illegal Search and Caesar, is, uh, wow, um, instrumentally, one of my favorites on the entire album. It is uh, very flavorful and dreamy R&B sample for the track. And we have these bright pianos and synths, and the whole thing is just wondrous. It's lush, it's lavishing. But lyrically, we have something a little harsher, where Boldy James recall himself being raided by the feds, where he really puts a lot of effort into describing the story and, and the events surrounding it, and it's just uh, one of the highlights on the album. Another highlight would be the next track, Fake Flowers, featuring Currency and Freddie Gibbs. It has a really subtle beat where we have this guitar chord being strummed again and again and again and again. And yeah, it's really mild, but for some reason it's so subtle and so nuanced, I actually kind of like it. It's mesmerizing. And also, uh, Freddie Gibbs, uh, he is a beast on this track. He is a freaking beast. 
he starts off his verse with uh, fuck them kids and then also uh, <laughs> Mickey Mouse, Drug House, Molly and X House, Michael Jackson ain't dead, he's just living in my guest house. And also uh, Currency also has a pretty nice verse, basically rapping about how it feels to be super rich. The car park is slanted, diagonal, outside of the castle, uh, Ferraris gallop, the bulls dashing, Porsche skedaddle. And uh, ultimately this track is about being rich, thus the title Fake Flowers. And also uh, we have lyrics where they sort of talk about how they went from, you know, these very low slum life to being super rich and it almost feels kind of unreal. Anyways, the album ends off not very strongly. We have third person with its soaring echoey electronic guitars, which really reminds me of 1985, the opener for Alfredo. But uh, yeah, instrumentally it is just okay and lyrically it's kind of, you know, the expected. And then we have a first 48 freestyle with a trap beat and an atmospheric blurry instrumental. Again, lyrically, nothing all that surprising, even though Boldy James gives a really solid performance. Instrumentally, it's just kind of okay. Uh, the trap beat and the atmospheric instrumental is kind of expected at this point. And then the album ends off on a pretty good note with the track Drug Zone, which is of course about the drug zone. And um, yeah, the instrumentals are really cool. We got the ringing droney keyboard, some charismatic drums, and surprisingly, the track ends off with some really sweet jazzy instrumentals, which is really nice. So uh, yeah, overall, Bo Jackson definitely has its highlights. There are some tracks on this thing that are really impressive. Great instrumentals, amazing beat switches, great performances, and The Alchemist is still gaining my respect and uh, it's still super impressive. But uh, all at the same time, there are also tracks on this album that I think is a little mild, could use some more work, could use the spark, but uh, nonetheless, still one of the better rap albums I've heard all year. Maybe this will grow on me, who knows? Maybe, maybe by the end of the year, I will love this album, who knows? But for now, I think it's decent. My favorite track here is uh, Illegal Search and Caesar and double hockey sticks and my least favorite is um mm, steel wool um steel wool i'm giving boldy james and the alchemist bo jackson a strong seven out of ten so have you listened to bo jackson from one to ten how much did you rate it like it like it and subscribe if you want more and thanks for watching